Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It is 616. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. A new picture that I just got in from a viewer was uh, out of Garrison. The sunset last night was gorgeous. We had just a few clouds that rolled through. So thank you to BJ for this gorgeous photo. Continue to send those in. We love getting those pictures. Uh, we've got a partly cloudy sky. The clouds kind of tough to make out when the uh, before the sun does rise, but we'll see a beautiful sunrise for many this morning. Most of us mostly clear. Temperatures right now 22 in Bismarck, 21 in Minot, 18 in Williston, and 20 20 degrees in Dickinson and winds are light from the west and the northwest around 5 to 10. These will all shift and become northwesterly today and stay around that 10 to 15 mile per hour range. But plan your day around mostly sunny conditions. Now, if you're in the Highway 2 corridor, that will be Minot and Williston North. You'll probably see some clouds move in uh, later on this afternoon with a weak cold front that pushes through. And But many of us will stay mostly sunny temperatures in the upper 30s to the low 40s. So we are going to be very similar to yesterday, but we're above freezing. Which which is uh, a lot more than I can say for the beginning of this work week. And we're really continuing to warm in this forecast. We're going to shake those 30s for daytime highs here. Temperatures are going to be warm on Friday. We're talking widespread 50s, slightly cooler on Saturday. Still pretty seasonable, though. We'll get those widespread 50s back on Sunday. And we've got a dry and very warm next week. We've got some, some of the warmest temperatures that we've seen this year in this season. Um, here is the precision cast. Again, kind of a mostly sunny start, partly cloudy. We'll pull in a little cloud cover with that weak cold front as it pushes through today. It's not going to linger into Friday. Friday, kind of a similar start, mostly sunny. We'll pull in some high clouds, and then we'll keep it mostly cloudy, if not uh, partly sunny, on Saturday. A weak cold front will give us a chance for maybe a little bit of light rain, but notice that I use the words rain instead of snow because our temperatures will be warm. So we're warming up nicely here in the coming days. Tomorrow will be our first day back into the 50s in about a week. Widespread 50s, that is. So lots of low to mid 50s. And then on Saturday, Again, kind of taking a little bit of a tumble with that cold front back to the 40s and the 50s. So uh, we do have a much more seasonable forecast after today. Here's the Dickinson three-day outlook. And, you know, with a little light in the sky, with the sun rising at the top of the hour here, we're starting to get a good look at the cloud cover. It's just a little cloud cover out there. Here's the Williston uh, outlook, a beautiful start to the day in Williston with temperatures in the upper 50s tomorrow, upper 40s there on Saturday. Over the next seven days, we are really warming up. Some of the warmest temperatures we've seen this season will be on Tuesday of next week when many will reach into the upper 60s, and I think that some areas could even reach the 70s. Here's the, uh, the forecast for Minot, and here is your forecast for Bismarck. It's a relatively dry forecast as well. We'll head into the weekend, you know, probably increasing the wind for some as well, but uh, also heading into next week with warmer overnight lows. We could have several days, guys, where we don't even drop to below freezing for overnight lows. It is that time of year we start seeing that transition. That's for sure. And, you know, everybody's getting through all of this in their own ways, in their different ways. And for me, it's literally focusing on the day mm -hmm. that we are currently in. However, this forecast gives me something and a reason to look forward to future days. So I am really looking forward to that, Amber. I would agree. I've been looking forward to being outdoors this weekend and for much of next week. All right. Well, thank you. You and Josh are both runners. Yeah. Yep, we definitely need some running. I know you guys will be out in your cul-de-sac. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still